news from around the region and from around the state, this is a Florida Focus News Brief. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Jasmine Thomas. A known drug dealer was apparently shot to death in his Hudson home last night. Neighbors said they called police after hearing arguments coming from the home of the victim. The sheriff said Francis Soto was an associate of Juggalo's gang and had prior arrest in Pasco County. A series of dramatic turns led to a deadly crash into a cinder block building. Investigators speculate that the Tampa man was driving on State Road 60 in Mulberry when he hit a dip in the road. The driver lost control as the car went airborne and started to spin sideways. The car created a hole 15 feet high in the building. A judge will decide if children housed in Polk County adult jails were abused. The Southern Poverty Law Center filed a federal class action lawsuit on behalf of Polk County youth. The group says children in the Polk County adult jail have been abused, neglected, and subjected to violence. The suit also charges that the Polk County Sheriff fails to provide sufficient education and rehab services to these children. Hearings began this morning. Red tide may be even more dangerous for manatees than scientists previously thought. Red tide research shows that the algae bloom is weakening the manatee's immune system. This could explain why more than 270 manatees have been found dead in South Florida this year, the worst die-off since the 1970s. If you exercise along Bayshore Boulevard, you're in for a real workout. Ten fitness stations have been renovated with brand new equipment along the scenic route. The best part of all? It didn't cost you a dime. Tampa law firm Hillward Henderson donated $50,000 to make it happen. Some of the new equipment includes a pull-up and dip station and a stretch pole. That's all we have for Florida Focus this evening. Thank you for watching.